doing well? Thanks for joining me for today's video and if you're new around here, my name is Grace and I love plants. Something really exciting just came in the mail and I can't wait to unbox it and share it with you guys. Can you guess what it is? As most of you will already know, especially my Australian audience, we here in Australia are going into winter and I've been thinking about the different ways that I can overwinter my plants to make sure that they survive this winter season. So far in my houseplant journey, I've experienced two winters now. I actually got into houseplants in autumn 2019 and so I went into my first winter not knowing much about the things that I needed to do. But thankfully, I didn't have too many at that point in time so there weren't many casualties casualties at all. But moving on to my second winter, this is where I experienced the most number of casualties, whether it be from the colder temperature or overwatering or pests that are more prone in the cooler months. So this time around, I want to make sure that I give them the best chance possible. As luck would have it, Mars Hydro reached out to me for a chance to collaborate and I couldn't be more thankful. If you aren't familiar with Mars Hydro, they specialize in grow tents, grow lights and all that jazz for indoor horticultural growers. I'll leave a link down below in the description box if you're interested to learn more about what they have to offer. Before we get started with the unboxing, I post videos every week so make sure you're subscribed and ring the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And without further ado, I can't wait to show you what they sent me so let's get into it. It did come in two packages but they arrived at the same time and I must say shipping was really quick. I'm really excited to set this up because I've seen a number of planty people enjoy good success with these and I'm curious to see how my plants will like it. These are actually really well packaged with lots of padding so the items arrived without any transit damage. So this is the grow tent. Um, it also comes with some stickers the metal frames, the connecting joints, some straps, and a user manual. And I think the other box is the grow lights. It comes with a hygrometer, some hooks and things to attach the light with, an extension plug, a user manual, a plug-in timer, more stickers, and the grow light. Oh, and of course these thingamajigs that actually run the light. I don't really know what these are called. So I think that's about it, so let's start building the tent. All the pieces were clearly labeled so it was relatively easy to assemble the frame. It wasn't difficult to put together either. You literally just connect the pieces together like so and it clicks in. Now I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of it off camera and I'll show you where I get to. So guys, I finally managed to put it all together. It's pretty huge. The one that I got is 120 centimeters by 120 centimeters and so it is pretty darn big. So this is what it looks like. It's got lots of space in here which is really great to store most of my plants in here which is what I'm planning to do. I'm going to put in the base and also the lights up on here before I put in the shelving and the plants. So give me one second and I will show you what it looks like. The tent's set up as I said before and we put the lights up. It's installed nice and secure. I've put in my shelving unit in here and I'm in the midst of um, organizing my plants in here. So I'm going to take a while and play around with the arrangement and I will update you very soon. I hope you're enjoying this video so far guys. If you are, please do me a favor and like this video. It helps other viewers find this video. And while you're at it, why not leave me a comment down below. I respond to all the comments and I love hearing from you. Let's get back into it. Alright guys, so it's the next day and I finished setting up the grow tent in my living room and I can't wait to show you what it looks like on the inside. But before we go ahead and do that, I wanted to share a little bit more about my overall thoughts on the assembly of it and putting everything together, the setup and all that good stuff. My first impressions of Mars Hydro is really good so far. Shipping was super quick to my location in Sydney, Australia. And I believe they have several other locations in the US, Canada, and EU as well. The items came in really sturdy packaging as well, as you would have seen in my unboxing clips, and it was really easy to assemble the frame. The tricky part though is when I had to put the cover on, and because this is quite a large size tent, it took me a little while and a change of clothes to get it done, but we got there. And overall, the setup took me an hour or so minus the lighting because that took a little bit of time to figure out 
how to attach the lighting. But mind you, I was filming as well. So if I wasn't fiddling around with the camera, it probably would have taken less time. Mars Hydro has a couple of sizes for their grow tents. And I got this one right here, which is the 120 by 120 by 200 centimeters and that's pretty much the largest that my space can accommodate and the reason why I went for such a large size is because I wanted to put as many plants in there as possible and also I have a shelf that would fit perfectly in this size tent so I decided to go for that and the light that they sent was a TSW 2000 which is 120 centimeters by 120 centimeters and it's also got a number of specs with that as well, which you can see from this booklet. And I'm not going to go through all of them. If you're interested, I would highly recommend checking out their website to see if there is one suitable for you. So this is what it looks like in our living room. It is pretty large, I'm not going to lie, but it is in the corner and out of the way, so that's fine. And it's got a couple of pockets here to give it a little bit more aeration. And it's also got some zips on this side. So you can have a look inside to see what your planties are up to. And it's also got another like pocket down here. It's got a little window. So if you don't want to open it up and go inside, you can have a look at your plants from here. And if you want it to go inside, just zip it open and step into the grow tent. So just to give you a little bit of a tour, so you can close those up if you want to trap more humidity, but as you can see, I've left it open and it's still at 91% humidity, which is really high and I'm pretty happy with that. When I was putting up the grow tent and the frame, there wasn't sufficient instructions about where to place these rods. So I've kind of just guessed it and put them together like that. It is what it is. Um, and also with the lights, I did struggle with it for a little while because instructions had it hanging about here and I didn't want it to be so low. So I wanted to put it at as high as possible. So I waited till Alex came home to help me figure out a solution and this is what we came up with. I'll give you a bit of a close up. So we've decided to hang it directly onto this metal plate here and hung it over these two beams. This is the trickiest part because I don't want the lights to come off and fall and crush my planties. Nobody wants that. So I think this looks pretty sturdy, but if I'm doing this wrong or if you know of a better way, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is the plants that I have in here. And as I mentioned before, this was a shelf that I had intended to put in here. And I think it fits perfectly for this size. And yeah, managed to fit quite a number of plants in here. You might not be able to tell, but I do have plants in the back as well. And in the back down here. Um, I'm not going to be spending too much time giving you a tour. If you want that, I can film a separate video because I do plan to install some fans for air circulation and also put some hanging plants up here to utilize this vertical space. So, you know, the setup might change very soon. Um, but this also comes with this kind of hanging pouch. And I don't really know what you would put in here. Maybe some like tools, like scissors and things like that, but I only have a hygrometer in here. As you can see, the humidity is pretty high and the temperature is really good. So I'm really hoping that the plants like it in here. I will probably film an update for you guys in about a month or so. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out. I think that is about it for the grow tent on the inside. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my other videos like these ones, so click to check them out. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay mellow my fellows!